What to do? Well, the first thing I did was save. And the cat is just too much of a coincidence. We gotta follow it. I instinctively followed the cat. Hey, where are you going? I gotta follow that cat. My legs started to move first, and then my brain realized that I was running. When I saw the cat cry, I felt he looked similar to Yano. Was that the reason? I felt like if I lose the cat, I'll lose Yano too. I ran, hoping this cat would be the clue that leads me to Yano. <sighs> Wait! I yelled at the cat, getting farther away from me. I'm too out of breath. Um... Well, we gotta give Lance a chance to catch up to us. At least I'm assuming he would run after us. He seems like the type. Catch my breath? <sighs> I leaned against the wall and caught my breath. Lance? You really do whatever you want. Someone shouted from behind me. Lance! <sighs> you really are a fast runner. Lance came running towards me and caught his breath with me. I felt my head clear up a bit when I noticed Lance followed me. Since when did he follow me? Lance... What is it? Look at that cat over there. I pointed at the cat. It was still waiting for me to come. He's waiting. Hmm... Lance was perplexed by the cat, too. Let's follow it. What? Oh, huh? I abruptly grabbed Lance's wrist. Hey, look! I ignored Lance's voice. You're holding hands with me whether you like it or not. And started running again. Oh, where are we? We followed the cat to a narrow alley. This sort of place existed in our neighborhood? What is this place? When will you let go? Huh? Oh! I was unknowingly holding onto Lance's wrist tightly. <laughs> Do all women ignorantly grab and run when they are in a hurry? <laughs> grab and run, eh? <laughs> he looks so done with me. Huh? I'm sorry. Lance turned his head. He's not offended, is he? I think he's just embarrassed. Little blushy. But really, what is this place? Looking around, it didn't seem like such a friendly place. Hmm. I saw eerie, weird shops at the end of this alley. Huh? Where's that cat? I trusted the cat and followed it here, but it was gone. I felt my heart sink. But I didn't lose hope and searched around for the cat. So that's what happened. <laughs> I went deep into the alley to find the cat when I heard someone's voice. Oh, that was Yano? So that's what happened. Y Yano? It is Yano's voice. As I searched around deeper, I saw yellow hair in the corner. Yano's hair! I was trembling while walking towards the co corner. Yano? The cat really knew its way. Ah, uh, Master! And Lance! Yano, who was sitting down at the alleyway, stood up after seeing us. Th thank God. He's still alive. He's not at all. Thank God. Thank God Yano's safe. Are you okay? I crumpled down onto the floor just from seeing his face. I tried to gain control of my legs and stood up to avoid making Lance worry. I didn't want him to see my weak side here. Please refrain from carelessly disappearing without a word, Yano. There are people who worry about you. I I'm sorry. His shoulders slouched. That was hard for me to say for some reason. I heard this kid desperately asking for help to find someone. I couldn't help myself. Kid? This cat. He was desperately searching for his owner. What do you mean? You can understand cats? Yes, master. I can understand what animals say. <sighs> you disappear to look for the cat's owner. Mm. I'm sorry, but I wanted to make sure he finds his owner. Did you find the owner? No, 
That's... He's been abandoned, then. Let's let the cat go and go back home. I do not want to waste more time. But no, it wasn't abandoned. Yana looked sadly at the cat. I'm just glad you're okay. For that short period of time, I was so worried that he had turned back into a doll or that he'd gotten into an accident. Thank God he's safe. Let's forget the cat now and head back. Would that be okay? Yes, I've told him anyways. It's amazing that he can talk with animals. We found his new gift. And since I discovered Yana through the cat, I should thank him too. Can't we just take the cat home with us if it's been abandoned? I came out of the alleyway with Yano and Lance. We have room for a cat, surely. <laughs> oh, it's nighttime. Yellow! I didn't know you had that gift. Talking with cats. Amazing! You indeed are a justice warrior. We are the chosen ones, aren't we, Commander? Well, I don't know about being chosen, but it is a special gift. So did you find the person the cat was looking for? No, that kid, he searched for his owner for a long time, but couldn't find him. Why not? Well, he's at a place we can't go. But one day they'll meet each other again. I wanted to tell the cat that. Hmm. I understood what Yano was saying. The cat must have gone through something sad. But still, please don't disappear like that without saying anything. She was worried to death. I was. Oh, hey, Yuri. Next time, hire someone to search. I don't understand why everyone made a fuss about searching themselves. Young people so tiring. Huh. <laughs> I worried about Yellow a lot, too. But you seem to be sorry, so I won't say anything more. Meow. As soon as Red finished talking, we heard a cat. Oh, John! As Yana called him, the cat I saw earlier jumped towards us. He must have followed them home somehow. He cried out after seeing Yana, but then jumped over the fence and disappeared. Did he come to see Yana? Anyways, did I just hear Yana call the cat something? Yana, what did you just say? What? You just called the cat something. Was it John? Oh, that? He's called John. Isn't it cute? It was a cute name. John's his nickname, and his real name is Johnson. What? D did you just say John? What? <laughs> oh, no. Johnson. <laughs> Yuri quickly covered Yano's mouth with his hands. I hope I heard wrong. <laughs> Gosh, I wouldn't have expected Yuri to be the one to cover his mouth. Oh, that's a no-no. That's not a word to come out of your cute mouth. It won't be too late to say it when you get older. Yeah, it's not late to say it after you've become an adult. To be an adult means... <coughs> Do not teach Yano weird things. You can say all those things whatever you want, but if you continue that, Yano will faint. <coughs> Yana's face grew pale. Oh, my mistake. <gasps> <laughs> Yuri immediately let Yano go, and finally he was able to breathe. I don't know who named the cat, but that person has bad taste. Naming a cat like that. That's true. It's quite... inappropriate for such a tiny, cute kitten. The owner must have been a freak with a weird hobby. The owner has strange taste. Tay and Lance stare at Yuri. <laughs> it's not his cat, is it? Why are you both of you looking at me? I'm not the owner. I did not say anything. Do I make you feel victimized? Well, it may be hasty to say it's Yuri, but how surprising. There are other strange people like Yuri in this world. Even one is hard to handle, and there's another one. The world must be coming to an end. Beside Yuri, who suddenly became the cause for the end of the world, Red was standing still with his eyes open wide. But hey, what's so weird about that name? It's cute. John? Johnson? I think it suits him. Does it have some weird meaning behind it? Red genuinely looked clueless. 
Sometimes I think Red might have the most innocent soul out of all of us. It means his brain is that empty. <laughs> I avoided Red's eyes eagerly waiting for me to answer. I'm supposed to be the innocent girl here, so don't ask me. Wh well, um, the name's not exactly cute. What? 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 What is it? Hey, don't be like that and tell me too. I want to know too. John said he really liked his name. He said someone important gave it to him. Is there a special meaning behind his name? What does it mean, Master? Yano and Red begged with sparkling eyes. I desperately needed Tay's help. Ahem. <clears throat> but Tay was avoiding my eyes. Tay! Uh, well then, I had no choice. I silently begged for help from Yuri. Please. Alright, I guess you guys are at that curious age. Seeing you guys take the first step to becoming an adult. As a teacher, I feel happy. Alright, I'll teach you. Lance suddenly came over and covered Yano's ears. Huh? What? Lance? Wait, why are you covering my ears? Then I can't hear anything. It's not something you should hear in the middle of the street. Of course, not even at home, too. You redhead, you should stop, too. People are looking. Let's hurry back. Yeah, we can't keep on standing here like this. Now, now. Let's go. Don't want to tell us, huh? Jerks. All right, when we get home, I'll cleanse your filthy minds with my song. Tay suddenly flinched. There seems to be so many songs and games I don't know about in Red's world. I had no idea what song he was talking about. Now, let's go home. I don't want to leave John here like this. Yano stroked the cat and said, Oh, hey, master. I know I shouldn't ask, but can we take John home? Yano, I understand, but... Unfortunately, I couldn't afford to have a cat in the house. Oh, come on! The house is already too small with five extra people, so it'll get crazy with a cat in it, too. And besides, I couldn't afford to pay for cat food. Yeah, but Yuri's teaching, and Tay's got a job at Banjul, and... And it's... It's been outside, like it can go outside, right? No? As I evaded, Yano feebly let the cat go. Goodbye, John. Ah, <sighs> I feel like I've committed a crime. Well, good. Anyways, do I have to take the cab tomorrow, too? I'm kind of tired of it. Should I ride something else? It is none of my business what you ride to school. I will take the bus. Yuri should get used to the bus, too. It's too expensive to take the cab every day. Unless we have a van or a limousine, we all have to take the bus. And besides, I still get worried when we go to school separately. Wouldn't it be better to go all together in the bus, though it's a bit uncomfortable? While adding those last words, I look at Yano. Yano lowered his eyebrows as if he felt sorry and smiled. <laughs> Everyone dragged their exhausted bodies and went inside the house. And... Hmm... A limousine... No one heard Yuri mumble from behind. Are we getting a limousine? Please, let's get a limousine. That'd be awesome. I sat down at my desk after coming home and washed. I habitually open my diary and think about what happened today. Today was a long day, too. Thank God. Yano is safe. I kept on writing. Does that mean we've written something? Do 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 diary. Hello. There we go. Yeah, here it is. I was so surprised that Yano suddenly disappeared today. So many thoughts came to my mind. I thought that maybe it was time for this dream to end. But I'm so glad we eventually found him. It's so amazing that he can talk with animals. I'm sad that he can't be with John, but thank God Yano's safe. I don't ever want to part with the dolls. I want to be with him forever. But is this asking for too much? I've been writing twice as much in my diary nowadays. My life has never been this full of bizarre events and accidents. My dolls have become human and are going to the academy with me, and they caught everyone's attention as soon as they entered. The past few days flashed through my mind. 
and my mind stopped while thinking about what happened today. Never before did I feel this happy and also this anxious. Phew, all done. Uh, uh. I look out the window. It's already pitch black. Should I go out and get some air? I stood up from my seat. Huh? You're out? I see a familiar silver head. Oh, Lance, are you outside too? It's very late. Lance spoke while looking at me. I know. I just couldn't sleep. I see. A lot of things happened today. Phew. They did. I remember what Lance said to Yano earlier. He told him to leave the abandoned cat there. I didn't say anything, but that bothered me a bit. I'm worried whether the cat will be okay. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, since I see a lot of stars tonight, I should wish for the cat's happiness. I point at the stars on the sky and exaggerate. You look quite pathetic. What? It's all good as long as I'm not embarrassed. What? I end up exaggerating because Lance points out my every move. Ugh, I said I'm not embarrassed, but I'm slowly feeling ashamed. I hope the cat's happy. Hope you meet a new owner who lives a long life. Mm. <laughs> um. Lance was staring at me. Like he does. I felt better after shouting. I already forgave Yano for disappearing without a word. He's safe, and that's all that matters. Will Yano come and wake me up tomorrow morning? I remember Yano eating dinner, feeling sorry and sullen. I should be energetic and cheer him up tomorrow. How's the academy for you? As I switched subjects, Lance looked at me. Mm. Um, about the club activity. Oh, yes! Lance brought it up first. I think it would be okay to give it a try. Really? I was already wondering what he thought since he didn't seem so keen earlier. So I was glad he brought it up first. And I was so glad that Lance took an interest in something by himself. You'll be good at anything. You are very positive. What? You have changed a lot recently. He closed his eyes as if he was drowned in his own thoughts. I've changed. Ever since we became humans. What was I like before? Mm. He must be talking about when he was still a doll. Come to think of it, you're the oldest doll. He's the oldest doll among all the ball-jointed dolls I have. At the same time, he's the only doll I bought before Grandpa died. You must remember Grandpa. Unlike all the other dolls. It was fun when he was still here. I felt people in the house like I do now. But ever since he died, I couldn't feel it. That's probably why I started talking to you. And then I brought more dolls into the house. I bought the dolls and started talking to them because I hated being alone in the huge empty house. That makes sense. After that, I greeted them and spent my days dressing them up. That was my life until about a fortnight ago. Now I shudder at the thought of going back to my old life. To be honest, when Yano disappeared today, I was so scared. I thought he turned back into a doll. I didn't know before, but that scared me so much. I shuddered at just imagining it. Isn't it weird? Just a couple weeks ago, you were all dolls. I've gotten so used to everything the past couple of days. I lowered my gaze. You guys turning back into dolls? I don't like it now. I hate it. One day it might happen. Will you have to turn back into dolls one day? I raise my head and look at Lance. Oh, flashbacks. I feel nervous. I'm afraid I'll go through the same feeling I had when Grandpa died. When my family disappears, I'll be left in the empty house by myself again. The house will be quiet again. Yana won't come to wake me up, and Tay won't cook breakfast for me. Lance won't get mad. Yuri won't make jokes, and Red won't be running around like crazy. Even when I go to Banjul, I won't bring things back for someone the food reminded me of. Huh? I felt something warm on my cheeks. L Lance? It was Lance's hand. I was surprised at the unexpected touch. I'm surprised. Lance touched me for the first time. 
Are you nervous? I nodded with my eyes wide open. Lance's hand was warm, unlike his usual cold attitude. Do you miss that person? I instantly knew he meant Grandpa. Yes. Yes, I miss him. I always brought him sweets, even while worrying about his health. I can't do that now. But... Now I can do it for you, and all the other boys. Bringing something back home for someone... It's the first time I did that since Grandpa died. So I was happy. Ha so I was happy. When I was saying, I'll take it to go... Hmm. Lance looked at me without saying anything. Then his hand on my cheek started to move a bit. It is quite amazing to be able to touch you like this. When I turn back into a doll, I will not be able to. To get something from you. To be asked if I like something. To talk to you like this. Lance added, still expressionless. Is Lance feeling anxious too? The dolls may be the ones most scared to turn away, to turn back to the way they were. Um, my cheeks where Lance's hand was tickled. What? Hmm? I suddenly became strongly aware of Lance's hand on my cheeks. My face suddenly turned bright red. I it's embarrassing! No! <gasps> oh, uh, um, uh, uh. I shook Lance's hand off without knowing. Ah, no, don't do that. What's wrong? Lance stared at me. L Lance just touched me. His touch still lingered on my cheeks. Is is it really nothing? L let's go in. It's cold. Not unlike your hand, which is very warm, apparently. I stood up awkwardly and headed towards the front door. Ugh. Oh, no! But you guys were so cute together! Um, oh yeah, I was trying to remember Hoban's voice. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't even been a few days since you started working here, and already you're playing hooky? How brave. <laughs> ah, Mr. Hoban. I wasn't playing hooky. I was just thinking for a moment. You want one? <laughs> no, I don't smoke. And besides, I'm a student. I'm not that corrupt to offer you a cigarette. Oh, you were offering candy? I'm trying to quit. My mouth feels empty, but now I think I'm going to get addicted to these candies. Ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh, Hoban, I just completely ruined your character. I heard you were a chain smoker. You're trying to quit. I have to, since I have a family now. Oh, I just feel like he has a cat. Hmm, good idea. It's John! Oh my goodness! Meow! Oh ho! I don't know who you belong to, but you're quite the handsome cat, buddy. You guys suit each other. Oh, really? The two other cats at home will be jealous. Can we really keep it at the cafe? It's okay. I'm familiar with cats. No need to worry about having one more. I'm oddly popular with cats. The two at home used to come just for food until they completely settled. I worried I was asking too much, but I'm glad it's okay. Also, Tay did care about the cat. It depends on the favor. Who can resist such a cute kitty? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but who was the owner? According to Yano, he's at a better place now. Hmm. Mr. Hoban? Meow. Well, I hope you relax and rest well here. Until you meet your owner again. 